Welcome to the third part of the reported speech lesson. In this part, you will learn how to report questions and comments. But before we go through this, let us do a review of the previous videos. Previously, you studied how to report statements. A statement is a sentence that contains a subject, a verb, an object, and a full stop. A statement can be positive statement, example, I am a teacher. Or negative statement, example, I am not a teacher. A statement can be in the past, in the present, or in the future. First, reporting present statement. To report statement in the present, you need to know that in English there are two ways to express the present. Simple present. Example, I go to school every day. Or present continuous. Example, I am watching TV now. To report statement in the simple present, you need to change all the verbs in simple present into simple past. An example, I go to school every day becomes he said that he went to school every day. To report statement in present continuous, you need to change present continuous into past continuous. Example, I am watching TV now becomes she said that she was watching TV then. Number two, reporting past statement. To report past statement, you need to know that in English there are six tenses to speak about the past. Simple past, present perfect simple, past perfect simple, past continuous, present perfect continuous, and past perfect continuous. To report past statements, fortunately, the simple past and the present perfect simple and the past perfect simple become past perfect simple in reported speech statement. Example, walk to school yesterday becomes he said that he had walked to school the day before. To report statement in the past continuous or present perfect continuous or past perfect continuous, you need to change all the verbs in one of these tenses into past perfect continuous. Example, she has been watching TV becomes she said that she had been watching TV. Number three, reporting future statement. To speak about the future in English, there are four tenses, and all of them use the model will. Look at the examples. The good news is, when you report a statement in the future, the only change you need to make is change the model will into would or will not into wouldn't. Example, I will be tomorrow. He said that he would be back the next day. Number four, reporting statement with models. First, what are models? Models are words that help the verb to express obligation, prohibition, advice, permission and possibility. To express obligation you could use the models must, have to, need to. To express prohibition you can use mustn't, can't, may not. To express advice you can use should, had better, ought to. To express permission and possibility you can use can, make, could and might. Some models when they are in reported statements change themselves. Example, if must and have to. You must stay at home in reported speech becomes he told me that I had to stay home. These are other models that change. 
the other models do not change. We also spoke about some changes that take place from direct speech to reported speech. These changes are some time adverbs and pronouns and place adverbs and other pronouns. Now let's move on to the homework correction. Compare your answers to these corrected ones. And finally, here we are in the third part of our lesson. We shall first start with reporting questions. In English, there are two types of questions. WH questions like who wrote this? And yes no questions like are you free tomorrow? It has either a yes or no answer. When reported WH questions take the new form subject plus asked plus wh word plus subject plus verb example where is she going in reported speech becomes she asked where she was going let's do this exercise who wrote this what did brian ask her brian asked her who had written that number two where, where did, did you, you go, go? What did Brian ask her? The answer Brian asked her where she had gone. Notice that the simple past becomes past perfect. Number three How, How is, is your, your family? family? What did Brian ask her? Brian asked her how her family was. Where are you going? What did Brian ask her? The answer? Brian asked her where she was going. Report a yes no question. The new form is subject plus asked plus if plus subject plus verb in the new form, of course. Example? Will you participate in the ceremony? Kamel asked me. A reported speech of this question is, he asked me if I would participate in the ceremony. Let's report these questions. Can you do this for me? To report this question, you need to answer the following question. What did Brian ask her? Answer. He asked her if she could do that for him. Try to report this question. Are, Are you free, free tomorrow? tomorrow? What did Brian ask her? Brian asked her if she was free the next day. Good. Brian, have, have you, you finished, finished your work? work? What did Brian ask her? Brian asked her if she had finished her work. And now with reporting commands. Generally imperative sentences. They can be also orders, suggestions, or generally do's and don'ts. There are types of commands or orders. Positive commands, an example. Go, Go there. there and negative commands 
Example, do not cheat in the exam. The new form of the positive commands in reported speech is subject plus reporting verb plus pronoun plus to plus verb in the infinitive. An example, revise your lessons. In a reported speech, the sentence would be the mother ordered her son to revise his lessons. For negative commands, the new form is subject, reporting verb, plus pronoun, plus not to, plus verb in the infinitive. Example, don't smoke here. The reported speech of this order is he ordered him not to smoke here. Again, the good news about reporting commands or orders is that the verb is always in the infinitive. Now let's do some practice. Go there. What did the commander order him? The answer? He ordered him to go there. Don't cheat in the exam. What did the teacher order him? The teacher ordered him not to cheat in the exam. Let's do more practice about reporting questions and commands. Complete the sentences as suggested. By the way, this is the instruction you will find in the national exam. Let's do the first one. Where are you from? The answer? He asked her where she was from. I'll let you answer the remaining questions and orders and we'll correct them as usual in the next video. Until then, stay home, stay safe and see you in the next video.